exponential growth can be found in a variety of real world phenomena. And most of the word problems related to exponential growth can be solved by applying the following general formulas. Now the first two are pretty much the same. Uh, it's where you'll have the final amount on the left side of the equation and at the very beginning you'll have the current um, or the initial amount uh, and then e raised to the r is your rate whether it's r or k that's your rate and the rate is always greater than zero uh, when you're describing an exponential growth uh, and t will represent your time for a certain strain of bacteria, R is 0.872 when T is measured in days. How long will it take for nine bacteria to increase to 738 bacteria? Uh, so here we have our um, formula for this. We're going to use A equals PE raised to the RT, where A is the final amount. So the final amount would be 738. That's what we want to know how long is it going to take to get there. Uh, P, what it is right now, it right now is 9. R is your rate, which is 0.872. T, we don't know. That's what they're asking us. How long is it going to take? So we're going to plug in everything we know. Now to solve these exponential equations, here we're solving for T. So there are some things that we need to do before we get to the T. Uh, so you're going to kind of peel away at those layers. Step one, get rid of the nine. Next step, get rid of the E. Next, get rid of 0.872 to get to the T. So let's start with the first step of, of getting rid of the nine. Since nine is joined together with these terms, it indicates that it's being multiplied. So you have to do the opposite, which is divide. So we're going to divide by nine. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And now that we've gotten rid of the 9, our next step is to get rid of the E. You know you can get rid of the E by taking the ln of each side. So let's go ahead and do that because ln E cancels. We're going to go ahead and bring down what, of, what is left. Last step to solving for T, we're going to divide by 0.872. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And if you get your scientific calculator and do ln 82 divided by 0.872 you should get approximately 5.05 .05. now we're talking about days here so if we run it to the nearest day whole day that would mean that it will take about five days for the bacteria count to reach that level